So I just unboxed and reviewed the Midnight Black PlayStation 5 covers and I thought why not talk about if PlayStation 5 covers are actually worth buying or not. Now they're always a pretty decent price, so they're under $100 in Australia and probably elsewhere. These are $85 in Australia relatively for most PlayStation 5 plates. With the PlayStation 5 Slim, I always recommend the covers because I just don't like the matte black finish and the glossy finish, to be fair, with the PlayStation 5 Slim. That's why I probably always recommend getting the PlayStation covers for them. The Midnight Black covers that I just unboxed were honestly really good. Like, I love the look of it. It suits it really well, especially with the mid being black. The black colorway works super well. It's gonna look incredible with the blue LED lights as well, and it just suits it really well. And there's other collections that have honestly been really good as well, such as the Grey Camo collection, one of my personal favorites that I have myself. It's also good if you, like let's say, scratch like a cover or something like that to get extra covers and stuff like that. They're not gonna affect the gameplay 100% in general, like, of course it's not going to affect your gameplay, but it's great to have customization. And then you can get the controllers to match the colors of the plates as well. So that makes it a lot more fun and it's a more customizable experience. And there's a whole bunch of ranges to choose from, a whole bunch of colors. They even just released the Deep Earth collection recently as well, which has been absolutely amazing. I love the Sterling Silver collection and all that. So there's definitely a whole bunch of plates. In terms of the Spider-Man collection as well, like they're really good because they can rise in value over time, especially with the controller and the faceplate bundle. That can definitely rise in like value and price over time because they're a limited edition bundle. So that's also a massive positive there. Apart from that, just having the customizable experience in general with the PlayStation 5 is a fantastic thing. I love the accessory range. I love these faceplate ranges. They're just fantastic and definitely a fun accessory to get. In terms of the original PlayStation 5 as well, I actually really enjoyed the Grey Camo Collection. I hope they bring the Grey Camo Collection back for the PlayStation 5 Slim. If not, there's a plenty of other great faceplates and they do last really well over time. They're not gonna affect the quality, but in terms of actual quality and robustness, like they've had really good value over time, like in terms of just being something that just does the job and is good quality. These are fantastic quality. I love that in the PlayStation 5 Slim range, they come with the disc and the digital inbuilt as well. So you have the choice if you want to take that disc drive out or not to replace the cover with that. And apart from that, it's really good and I've had nothing but a positive experience with the PlayStation 5 faceplates. They are worth it because of just having the various range of the different colors. They're a lot of fun. They're pretty inexpensive considering other, you know, PlayStation 5 accessories are a bit more expensive. You gotta customize your experience and you know, they're always there for you. Hopefully they bring out a white version because people have said if only there are PlayStation 5 white cover replacements available, that would be amazing. So Sony, if you're listening, PlayStation 5 white covers, maybe we can get some on shelves. Apart from that, Midnight Black is pretty awesome. Great camo collection is pretty awesome. Sterling Silver was really good. The blue one was also really good. The list goes on, the PlayStation bundle was pretty amazing, honestly, and it probably will rise in value over time, and it's definitely something awesome, so thumbs up for this, and yeah, it's, it's worth it.